Hey guys, this is Simon from Control Me. Today we're programming the T8 FG Super from Futaba with the A2 flight controller and it's mounted on an S1000. So basically A2 flight controller has a built-in receiver that we will take advantage of and control directly. Okay, so what a lot of people get confused about is that when they initially set it up, it seems like they only have eight channels and with uh, this kind of big rig, you quickly run out of channels, especially if you're also programming a gimbal. So here you can see, you know, we have the basic channels, everything's working, but it's really only up to the eight channels that we just talked about. So in order to get more channels, what you have to go in and do, you can see here, you double click the link, and then if you scroll down to frequency, you want the area to be general, unless you're in France. And then the fast, instead of M M molt, you want that to change that to molt 2. So that's a multi-channel 2. And now that we have enabled that, we can go back to the screen and see that we actually have a lot more channels. See, these extra four channels are now enabled. So in order to take advantage of those, we go back to the Futama. And if we double click the link and go down to function and we keep scrolling, the first four is basically, you know, your rudder, aileron, pitch, and throttle, and those are not too interesting. The next four are pretty easy to set up as well. If you want to, your gear is assigned to the switch B. If you want to change that, all you have to do is click on it and select another switch. You can see the one that highlighted blinking is the one that's selected. So I'm just going to select B again. If you need a trim, you add it over here. But we keep scrolling. And if you keep scrolling, get to the next four channels. And these are the ones you can set individually. So here, this channel is not assigned. So I just basically choose another channel. And let's just choose one. It doesn't matter in this case. But um, let's just say we use the channel A here. So just go up to SA and now that's selected. Here you can see that in the beginning these might may all say AUX1 so what you have to do if you don't want to change them all to be the same you actually have to click on the AUX1 and change that so here if you scroll that you can put that as in this case AUX3 will be good so now we have 1, 2, 3 but if we change the SE down here since both of these label AUX1 will also change the first one. So if we don't want to do that, we have to rename this one as well. So we're going to do that AUX4. So now we have 1, 2, 3, 4. And you can go in and change the individual one. So now they're not the same anymore. And then if we go back to the screen, now you can see we have these extra channels. So that's how you do it. That was just a quick intro into how you take advantage of the extra channels. But if you have any questions, just leave us a comment and we'll get back to you.